How's it going everybody? It's Warren and today we have to talk about one of the biggest easter eggs in Avengers Endgame and that is how Avengers Endgame sets up Namor to enter the MCU. If you haven't seen Avengers Endgame and are worried about spoilers, don't worry we won't really be going into spoilers in this video. I'm just going to be talking about one sentence that is said in the beginning of Avengers Endgame that doesn't really have anything to do with the rest of the movie. So no need to worry about spoilers. And if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe I'm doing an Infinity Gauntlet giveaway and a glow in the dark Thanos painting giveaway by Glow by Bow. The giveaway ends at the end of this month, so one day left. I'll talk more about it at the end. So, Namor, the Submariner, is a character who fans have wanted to see enter the MCU for a really long time now. Namor is the ruler of Atlantis and he has mutant genes, and he was teased before in Iron Man 2. Nick Fury is meeting with Iron Man to talk about the Avengers initiative, and while they talk, nearby is a map of the world, and on this map it has markers of people that they are monitoring across the world. And one of these markers is right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So many people believe that this is a reference to Namor and Atlantis. So that was the first easter egg to Namor, and recently Kevin Feige has been talking a lot about bringing Namor into to the MCU. And now we have another huge easter egg in Avengers Endgame. In Avengers Endgame, Black Widow is leading a meeting with some of the other heroes who are monitoring the world. Okoye is in Wakanda and she says that there was an underwater earthquake. Black Widow asks how she's going to handle it and she says it's an underwater earthquake, we handle it by not handling it. This is definitely a reference to Namor the Submariner. There is no other reason why they would put this in the movie except to reference Namor, because otherwise it doesn't really make any sense. This is a three hour movie in which they crammed a lot into. Everything is super intentional with this movie. So this appears to be a big easter egg towards Namor the Submariner and it looks like they're setting him up to be the villain in Black Panther 2. Okoye mentions that the earthquake was off of the coast of Africa, and her saying we handle it by not handling it could mean one of two things. One, it could mean that it's simply an earthquake and there's nothing to do about it. However, I personally think that she knows it's Namor. In the comics, Wakanda and Atlantis have a long history of being at war with one another. So Okoye could know that this is in fact Namor but knows not to interfere with the underwater Atlanteans. Black Panther 2 would also be the best bet of introducing Namor because of the rights that are associated with Namor. Unfortunately, Marvel and Disney don't own the rights to have a Namor solo movie. However, they do have the rights to use him in other movies. This is just like the new Hulk. He cannot have his own solo movie, but he can be thrown into Avengers films and Thor Ragnarok. So we can't have a solo Namor movie yet, but we can introduce him in Black Panther 2, which would be the perfect opportunity. Because again, Atlantis and Wakanda are known for constantly being at war with one another. And if you think about it, it would be a super cool movie. Two hidden civilizations going to battle with one another. And introducing Namor into the MCU could lead the way to introducing mutants. And that certainly seems to be the way that this is going because again, this easter egg is a reference to Namor. It was put in this movie for a very specific reason. He's somebody that the fans have wanted to see enter the MCU for a very long time now and again Kevin Feige has teased about him entering the MCU very recently. So that's it for this Namor Easter egg in Avengers Endgame and how he could be the villain in Black Panther 2. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. And again, another reminder about my giveaway, I'm giving away a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet and a glow-in-the-dark Thanos painting by Glow by Bow. You can also find more of his work at glowbybow.com. I'll put the link in the description down below. If you'd like to enter for your chance to win, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero or villain. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Thor's going to go for your head in Avengers Endgame. Hey, congratulations to your desperation. To save the universe, you killed half of its population. Yeah, you did it. Very nice. And all it took, you said it cost you everything while crying like a baby. Now you're at number one.